Hello, my six string fam out there. What I want to do today is go over basic diatonic scales and all the modes. I know I covered it before. I see a lot of people talking about whether or not they want to go over uh, and learn uh, blue scales, uh, pentatonic scales, but if you learn your full basic diatonic scales, you can derive your blue scale and your, your pentatonic scales from there. And not repeating one mode all over the neck, but learn all the modes because that is the actual language. You're not stuck on one word using it out of context. You, you can, in a key, play all your modes. And I'm going to try to simplify it because it's actually pretty simple. All right? Uh, I know I'm going to miss a whole lot here because I'm trying to do it really fast. But it is actually pretty simple. Basically, if you're seven diatonic scales, there's seven modes. The modes are Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, and Mixolydian. All right? They look like this. If you start with Aeolian, you got your A. Got a full tone. B, C, alright, this is Aeolian, Locrian, this is Aeolian, this is Locrian, this is Ionian, this is Dorian, alright, this is Phrygian, this is Lydian, and then Mixolydian. Alright, that's your seven modes. Now, what I'm going to try to do, I know it sounded like nonsense, but you, you have to get the intervallic values together too. All right, from here, starting from Aeolian, you have your A. It's a full tone away, is B. Semitone is C. All right, full tone away is D. Another tone away is E. Semitone away is F. Then a G. Full tone away, and another full tone away is A. And that, those are the intervallic values. If you kind of go over it, or you may see what I'm doing, and it kind of makes sense. Again, I'm trying to rush to get it all done for the sake of this little video, and hopefully to clarify how basic diatonic scales are very simple. Also, in the diatonic scales, there's only three basic patterns. There's this pattern, where the semitone is in the end of a three-note uh, scale. One, you have one is your A, your interval is a full tone after the first, and then a semitone. And then the second pattern is like this, where the interval is a half step in the beginning. It's in the beginning. And then the third pattern is like this, where the intervals are all full tone apart. Now for this pattern, there's two, just like this. It goes like this. Alright, for this one there's two. Alright, now for the one with three, one with full step in between each note, they're actually three of those patterns. Now, I may have played them slightly out of sequence, but it was just to kind of show you that there's three of the majors, four of the minors, two each with the semitone in the end, there's two, and then there's two with the semitone in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go over the scales, and hopefully you can kind of see how they're played. All right. diatonic scales, alright? And you'll see me playing pentatonic scales, you'll see me playing everything, but it's all a part of the diatonic scale. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
horizontally mm -hmm. as well as vertically so you can see the stretches and the intervallic differences. Now you see a lot of people they're doing hammer-ons. When they're doing hammer-ons they're just doing extended scales but they're doing it on one string with their finger. And they're going <laughs> fingers aren't but so long so I'm extending it with this hand so if I'm doing an alien uh, scale or run my next note is here here and here all right so I'm just extending it with my fingers and that's all that is so hopefully that kind of made it a little clearer as far as pentatonic not pentatonics but your diatonic scales and how the other scales are derived from it whether it's pentatonic blues uh, altered, diminished, uh, harmonic minor scales, it's all derived from your basic diatonic scales. Alright, thanks.